Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over using uh, cheats in the 2006 RuneScape single player client made by Midge. And sorry it's been a while, um, I've been really busy um, with with school and stuff, but um, I've been working on a few other channels, a few other projects, so um, I'm going to be trying to upload a few, few bits here and there. Again, this is just a quick one showing you how to use cheats. I've just made a fresh account, so um, obviously you start off at Tutorial Island um, and what you can do, I'm using, and this is a comment that I've got, you can change the uh, game frame by going to game frame and there's a small menu here and if you change it to a resizable game frame you can make it the same size that I've got mine, so it's just something to remember. Um, we we'll just talk to RuneScape Guide, we just want a normal account, choose the game mode and then I usually skip Tutorial Island. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to use the um, the cheats. So in the folder that you download uh, the game from, and I'll link my video um, about downloading the game from the website, basically you'll get a notepad document. And what you want to do is you want to take these cheats and put them in the chat. So um, uh, ones that I usually use, are levels which you just put in dot dot like that for private runescape lvls and now you can set levels if you go to your skill bar here we can just turn every level up to 99 if we want to or if you want something lower you can change it to a lower stat again it depends really what you want um, you can set them to anything here and you can increase them and decrease them um, and then other ones we've got here as well, um, money, which is useful if you're interacting with vendors, just showing you that they work. It's a useful one to use. Um, we've got some more fun ones here, but I'll go over the basics. Um, God mode is useful, especially if you're doing a, uh, a battle. Uh, you can just activate it like this, dot, dot, God. And that's what I use sometimes when I'm fighting bosses that I don't know how to fight. Um, I run is a really useful one because you can just run forever. Um, very important. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Quests is another one as well. Some items are quest restricted. This is something that I do on all new accounts. And then boom, we've got all the quests unlocked. Um, again, these you just you see the command and you put it in, but I'm gonna go over a few ones that might not be apparent. So to add items to your account, you do dot dot items, and then you search for an item. Um, we just find like a cape or something. You can only spawn one item at a time, but when you're spawning things like arrows, I'll just show you how that works. So basically, if you're doing a range build and you want to add ar arrows to your inventory, I recommend doing dot dot arrows because it's a lot faster than going into the spawn menu and spawning one arrow at a time. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so, um, other things as well. Uh, control shift click is teleport to a uh, destination, right? So um, this is something that's really useful if you're um, exploring a map. If you go here onto the mini map, control shift click. See what? See how I'm teleporting past all these things? And areas are just automatically low for you, so I can just teleport through Al Alcarid here. I can teleport into the Duel Arena if I want to, see? Um, very useful if you're trying to just get about the game. So um, again, very important command to know. Um, then there's other things like uh, some fun commands. Um, be careful with these because sometimes I've actually set these on and they don't uh, work properly. Also, Open Bank is also a very useful thing. Um, we just whack all the stuff in there. Very handy if you're just trying to store stuff on an account. Um, again, home, runes, it, it's all very useful. Um, let's try skeleton, this is one. But be careful, because sometimes if you use these commands, then you can't actually change back into a human. Um, I've done it a few times, um, so just be careful that you don't mess it up. Uh, let's try ghost. Done the ghost skeleton. Go back to human. 
again, look, I've, I've gone straight back to the bot, bot skin, so um, you probably need to go to a makeover mage or something uh, to change your appearance back. So be careful when doing that, is, is all I'm going to say. Um, okay, well, I think that's about it, really. Um, I think that we can access GE, although I've never done that before. Again, I think you need to have other players in your game. Pretty soon I'm going to be trying to do a guide, trying to set this up on LAN. I've not actually set this up on LAN before, but I am going to give it a go. Um, and again, I'm going to try PKing. If you're on the same computer with the same IP address, it is easier. But um, again, um, I'm going to be doing another video on that pretty soon. Uh, again, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one.